What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk to you about the changes that Comcast is making to their email system. So essentially, they're making it to where you need to log into your account once every 12 months in order to keep the email active. So in today's video, we're going to go through how to show you on what to do to keep your account active, what to do once you've received a deactivation letter, and then what you can do if your account was deleted. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Okay, so as I was saying, you need to log into your Comcast account once every 12 months in order to keep it active. It's a pretty straightforward change, nothing too crazy for those of you that use your uh, Comcast email constantly. But for those of you that may not use it as much, you will want to keep that in mind. Now, to keep it active, you can use the third-party apps such as like Outlook or um, uh, Thunderbird. You can use their webmail, their application. Any of those will uh, flag the account as active and keep it from being deleted such as so long as you... Uh, log in once every 12 months. Now, in order to do this, you do need to have a checkbox in order to use those third-party apps in the settings of the webmail. You'll need to log in to your Comcast on the webmail, go into the gear up in the top right-hand corner, uh, select security on the left-hand side, and then check the box that says use third-party apps. Doing that, again, will allow you to use those third-party apps uh, in order to keep the account active. So what happens if you haven't logged in within 12 months? What happens now? Well, your account is now going to be flagged for what they call a deactivation, not to be confused with a deletion. Deactivation just says, hey, you have 90 days to respond in order to keep this account active. And to do that, all you need to do is just log in with your same username and password in order to reflag the account as an active account. Pretty straightforward stuff. So you have essentially 15 months from the time of your, from the last time of your login to where the account is officially going to be deleted. So you have 12 months and then you have a three month buffer. If you haven't logged in within those 15 months, you are going to have an account deleted. However, if your account is deleted, you can still get it back, but only to a certain extent. So what that means is you can still keep your username and your email address, but all of the data that was in that email address is going to be uh, unrecoverable. Everything's gonna be gone and you're gonna have to start over from scratch. So obviously that is worst case scenario. You'll certainly want to log in at least once every year in order to keep the account active. But those are the changes that Comcast is making uh, for their email system. So hopefully this video helped. Like I said, it's more of a kind of a talking head, more of like a public services announcement for those that have Comcast. But just keep in mind that Comcast has made those changes. And as far as I know, I think they are effective immediately. I will post a link down in the description directly to that article. So for you, that want a little bit more information, you can go down and read that article. However, I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Those three things certainly help us grow out our channel. If you wanna support us in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. Check out some sweet merch over there. If you do have any other questions, you guys, feel free to reach down in the comments. I will uh, try to get to those as much as I can. There may be times where I have to forward you off to Comcast, obviously, because it's their system, and there are certain things that I don't have control over, obviously. So reach out down below or just give Comcast a call if you're having any other issues with your account. But other than that, thank you guys all so much for your support. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.